take these hoes off. Yeah, the game plan is you get a couple of, oh my god, finally! I'm gonna try to do my rear wheel bearings today. Not the fronts, because I don't have them. They're at Cam's house. I have to press them in. We were being lazy. We didn't want to finish doing that yesterday. And I also don't have all the seals, so yeah. But we're gonna do the rears because the rears are all good now. So I'm just trying to grab all my stuff, get it all in order. And then we're gonna probably wash our cars after because that's why he came over us to wash his car because it's disgusting. Yeah, What's up? Josh here. I'm gonna make Jacob leave my YouTube link in the bottom. I don't know if this is even on me or not. I've never used this gimbal or camera before. But this is my car, 14 WRX. It's really gross and dirty. That's why I came here. I just went on a 16 hour road trip. So don't worry about this, it's getting clean. Anyway, this is her, uh, basically bone stock, except for somebody chopped the exhaust off of it, but I got stickers. It came with mud flaps, didn't have to buy those. Very stock interior, again, dirty, just had some Taco Bell, but stock interior, it's literally a stock WRX, but it's the hatchback, it's the best one, and it has clears that are broken, unfortunately, but if I stand far enough away, you can't see that it's broken. So there will be more done to it in the near future. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Keep an eye out for that. But for now, I'm just doing some maintenance shit and taking care of her. I like it better than Jacob's. I'm getting the side off. I got the caliper off. And then now I'm going to get this axle nut off and then proceed to take out this Jesus bolt and then just uh, slowly but surely get this knuckle out. I, I don't think it should be that hard. Like I said, the only thing I'm really worried about is the... Uh, I don't know if you guys can actually even really see it. The e break. <laughs> got the knuckle uh, pretty much all almost disconnected. I just forgot the 17 millimeter bolt. That's, where is, it, where is it? It's down back there on both sides, right there. And then once I do that, I am going to disconnect the brake cable and this wheel speed sensor. Hopefully again, without a problem. And then we're gonna figure out this e-brake shit because I really don't know how to, you know, like, like what, what, what the fuck I'm doing with that. That's, that's new to me. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> 15 minutes trying to do this? Yeah, we were sitting here for like 20 minutes trying to fight with that 17 that's down there. Cause I was like, fuck, I can't find the one that was for my gun. <laughs> and it was right sitting literally right next to us the whole time. Like, yeah. My bad. My bad. My fault. <laughs> Let me get the gun. <laughs> my fault. Are you sure I was under the car when I... No, keep that like that. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, but. Alright. Should be alright, cause you're being held up by the top. Chevy is getting kind of heavy around the bank sound. Oh, you fucking bitch. Yeah, my fault. <laughs> so I was saying this side. We'll be right back. Ow! Did you hit your elbow? Oh. <laughs> my hand. My fault was hella shaky. I was trying to get into position. You're gonna suck so bad. Sorry, hang on guys. No upper arm strength today. This is gonna end. It's gonna end in disaster, I can feel it. You might wanna hold this wrench. Yeah, <laughs> go on the other side. Good wheel bearing. Yeah, there's no noise, right? Phenomenal. It rolls, it's smooth. Terrible. Hmm. I don't know, man. I think you got a couple more miles on that. You know what's crazy is I probably do. Just kind of at a crossroads here, though, just be, just because um, the bolts for the wheel speed sensor are kind of rusty. Okay, this so too dark. I didn't. I didn't. No, it's fine. I didn't buy new wheel speed sensors. I didn't think about that. I totally forgot. So I'm trying to just carefully get this out, and I also totally am drawing a blank on how to get this this uh, brake line out. So just little things, but that those are the only two things that are holding this on right now. And then, you know, all the e-brake shoes and all that stuff back here. Garbage, okay, terrible. Where's the other one, over here? Not garbage. Look at that, no noise, beautiful. <laughs> all right, now you guys can kind of see it a little bit better. I just took it off with the trailing on. 
but it looks like I need probably extractor bits just to get that out. And then for that, it's just a clip, pull that off, and I think that whole hose just kind of comes right out. And I can put it right in there, and then we'll move on to the e-brake stuff. But I don't have extractor bits right now, so I'm gonna go grab those. Josh is washing his car, so I'm gonna give him a little, little cinematic, you know what I'm saying? And then we'll get back to this. remember talking with somebody a while ago and them saying that this might not come out so easily and that it might just be easier to cut it and then just get another one and then just you know kind of do everything else as I need to running without that like like if I decide I want to lock up my brakes I'm just not gonna have any ABS but besides that everything's still gonna break fine starting to get a little bit later and I just locked myself out of the garage so I don't have the key I don't even know why I locked the door we never do that it, yeah, that was a dumb move on my part so i'm gonna wait for my dad to get home and maybe i'll finish that when he gets home or tomorrow but i'll pick this video up with you guys back in one second so it is the next day sorry i just got back from uh finishing up work and whatnot Ooh. oh that hurt so bad all right now that i've done this on the other side i can kind of explain this to you properly so i'm gonna try to get the best camera angles I can for you guys. There's two springs on this side right here and then another one on the other side. We're gonna take this off, right? We're gonna unscrew this and if that doesn't unscrew, we're gonna use pliers. And then once we do that, we're gonna move to the top right here and see that there's that spring and that spring. We're gonna unhook them from back here and the e-brake shoes will fall right off. Oh! Whoops. Let's get that one out. There we go. And that comes out. Push that rod out, whatever. Now we're gonna work our way for the top here, which is gonna be a bit strenuous, I feel like. I had a hard time with the last time, but it shouldn't be too difficult this time. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that went off. I don't know where it went, but it, it got off. It, it flew somewhere. So now, you just pull this. There we go, like so. Ouchie, ouchie. And the whole thing kind of just comes apart like that. And then here at the bottom, this, you're gonna wanna kind of just shimmy out because that is your actual e-brake cable. Oh, let's see if I can shimmy it out. I did it last time, no problem. There we go, there we go. Boom. And now last but not least, we're gonna wanna get this out of here, which on the back, there is a clip which I have already taken out um, right there. You wanna take that out and then that is literally the only thing that is gonna be holding the uh, knuckle onto the car still. So now we're gonna... Okay, so I'm just gonna cut this video a little bit short just because I didn't get to actually finish them due to me just having a lot of other things going on. And I'm going to IFO tomorrow. I have company over right now and just a lot of family stuff. So I didn't get to finish them today, but they're pretty much done. They are on the car. The only thing I have to do is just set up the e-brake cables. I was trying to do it off of the car, but you can't do that because you got to connect the e-brake cable to the bracket that's on there and kind of do everything that way. And also I'm missing like an adjuster and stuff because it's like fucking broken. But besides that, everything's on there. Like I said, going to IFO tomorrow and I want to be able to record that for you guys. So. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Sorry I had to cut it short. I love you all. And um, probably in the next video, you're gonna see immediately me just putting putting everything together. Just so I don't leave you guys hanging, because I do feel bad. But peace out, you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.